This video is designed to be an explanation of finger pattern exercises for the base um, for teachers to use in their classroom or for students to use as a practice tool. So the finger pattern exercises were originally developed for violin and viola, but I've modified them a little bit for bass and cello, and so I just want to explain how it works for bass and how you might be able to use it. So first of all, I want you to know that I'm not a bassist, I'm a violinist, but um, uh, I've tried this out with a number of my friends who are bass pedagogues, and I feel confident about the strength of this exercise. So each of these exercises involves, first of all, getting your bassist to third position. Now, I always tell violin and violist that finding third position involves a perfect fourth, and that's the interval of here comes the bride. So from the open string to first finger at the beginning of the exercises will be here comes the bride. So we'll start with that, and then from there, we'll play four quarter notes on each step of the exercises. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos about the whole step, half step pattern of the videos, I do recommend you check that out. But in the end, the first one that we're doing is the three, four finger pattern, which involves uh, a half step between the third and fourth notes of the exercise. So, we find here comes the bride. Now, four quarter notes on each step. Once we've done that, we then find the same third position again on the D string. And it should be pretty easy because it's really right in the same place. And then we do the same finger pattern exercise. We'll then do the same thing on the A string and then move to the E string. After we've done it with four quarter notes on each step, you'll then move to three quarter notes on each step of the exercise, then two quarter notes, finishing with one quarter note on each step of the exercise. Now we've got the four finger patterns for bass. The first one, the half step, is between the third and fourth note, so we'll use a first finger, fourth finger, shifting to one, two. The second finger pattern, which is the two, three, again, we'll find, and we'll use a, a whole step, one to four. Now the half step will be on the shift. The third finger pattern is the one, two finger pattern, so it'll be a one, two, now a whole step shift, and the open finger pattern is one, four, one, four. Those are the fingerings for each of the four finger patterns, starting with the 3-4, then the 2-3, the 1-2, and finally the open. Again, I think it's really important that young bassists understand that the name of the finger pattern exercise is where the half step is. The 3-4 finger pattern has the half step between the third and fourth notes of the, of the pattern, etc. Good luck. I hope this makes sense. Try the resources out and good luck as you get going with upper positions and some shifting on the bass.